All right, so that is some brand new audio from that Delta flight that we just got in, and that, of course, was the pilot talking with the air traffic controller. And we have uh, Chief Transportation Correspondent and Veteran Pilot, May Kay Beeler, for us. Uh, you're going to give us a deep dive into what exactly was happening there. So calm for of a situation course. that, to all of us, sounds really scary. We train for this all the time. Yeah. So your pilots are very, very well trained. I want to clarify something, though. Uh, the jet did end up doing a couple of approaches mm -hmm. and coming back around before they finally landed. So that's standard procedure. We have checklists, we have standard operating procedures. We don't do things just by memory or guess. There are checklists uh, that we go by. So they did everything they could and Delta, some of the most highly trained pilots in the world. Uh, so the passengers were in very good hands. Yeah, and we talked to some of the passengers and, you yes. know, they said, you know, I have bumpy landings when there is a nose exactly. gear that's extended. Exactly. But what does the timeline look like for a pilot to, you know, as they're making their descent and they, you know, try to extend that nose gear? How far ahead of that is in uh, ahead of landing is that? Well, typically we have the gear down and locked four miles on final. Okay. Four miles out on final, that gear, three to seven miles, needs to be down and locked. So if it's not down and locked, all right, we're going to go around, we're going to come back, we're going to troubleshoot, maybe even leave the airport and do some troubleshooting. They only had 50 minutes of fuel on board, if I heard that right. They should have at least 45 minutes at landing. So maybe that was a problem, too, that, well, they couldn't get it down, so let's go on and land now. And what yeah. exactly do you do to make sure that that landing goes as safely as possible right. without that gear? So we're trained for that. First of all, they do have indications in the cockpit, lights, audio that Sony the gear is not down and locked. So they know that. Uh, now we know the nose gear isn't going to come down. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in, we're going to land as smoothly as possible, touch down on those main wheels, bleed off airspeed, and let that nose come down as gently as possible. Okay. So the nose gear malfunctioning is really the best case scenario as opposed to one of the two main gears. Okay. They did a great job. Yeah, and so you kind of tip back on, you rely on those back wheels, right? Yes. And then just kind of let gravity do its work. Right, touch down on those main wheels, slow down, slow down, slow down, the nose comes down gently. Okay. There you go. It's a, you make it sound so easy, but we know it is not an easy feat. A lot of skill feat. and a lot of practice. For those pilots. A lot of training. A lot of skills there, So uh, and we're appreciative to those pilots and of course you for uh, your insight into this. Let's